Okay, so good morning, guys. I am uh, Sanjeev Fernando from Ninety Nine X. So we'll first start with a brief introduction of IoT, so that you have a good understanding about IoT and have a uh, then you can have a good understanding about the next sessions that we will be uh, pro- conducted by, and uh, that will be a very good place to start. Uh, so I will start with the uh, uh, brief. Uh, which means the definition of the internet of things so if you search any kind of uh, uh, if you google this term then you will always uh, see some kind of uh, set of words but actually uh, we need to clarify each and uh, every word where which uh, gives the exact meaning of what internet of things means so if i read the description the internet of things refers to a system of interrelated interconnected objects that are able to collect and transfer data over a wireless network without human intervention uh, so i will be uh, breaking down this into uh, and try to explain as much as uh, possible that i can uh, for all of you so uh, when we thinking about internet of things uh, we will be it is easier to explain these things with some examples so as an example i have mentioned here some wearable fitness trackers like fitbits uh, like uh, it's a common thing in these days uh, 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 almost everyone is wearing some kind of fitbit uh, to track their heart rate and the number of steps that they have walked uh, and so much of information so that is the example that i will be taking into consideration while uh, while explaining this internet of things and some of the other things are voice assistants like siri and alexa and when it comes to a large scale internet of things project something like smart cars like tesla all right uh, let's move on uh, yeah how it works so when it comes to the uh, definition then we can break down the complete iot system as four things the first one will be sensor or the device uh, which means uh, the device or the sensor that we are uh, using to get the information from the environment and the next one is connectivity connectivity means how are we going to uh, move these uh, data collected to the to a central place so that we can process Uh, uh then the connectivity and the data processing so the things that we uh, uploaded from the sensors or devices then we can uh, do the processing of those things and then we, we comes to the most important thing the user interface that is where the uh, where the user gets the information from the things that we collect yeah i'm moving on uh, uh now i will be taking as example the fitbit uh, so if we think about the fitbit there are so many sensors that are being used in a fitbit to collect information that can be the heart rate that can be the number of foot footsteps that we uh, travel within the day uh, those kind of information can be collected via several sensors and devices and then uh, we can uh, for an example we can take the camera and the accelerometer the change in motion based on the change of motion they can track the behavior of the user and the number of tra- uh, footsteps that traveled and gps temperature sensor and pressure pressure sensor is also some examples for the sensors okay the next one is the connectivity that means the uh, the way we upload the things that we collected to the cloud so that we can process them then when we are in when we are connecting to the cloud we can use the cellular uh, and satellite and wifi yeah, or the bluetooth yeah. the minimum uh, when we are thinking of what uh, connectivity that we are using then we need to go ahead with the lowest power consumption uh, so that uh it needs our it matches our requirement so that the bluetooth uh, will be a better solution for a small device then we can simply with the low power uh, 
send all the information that we needed. Yeah, then the processing. So when it comes to the processing, that processing may have a simple process or a complex process. A simple process, I mean, uh, some kind of a range check, which means if this temperature is uh, somewhat uh, higher than this value, then we will be doing some processing and giving some information to the user. Uh, yeah, that is about data processing. Then we have the software to do that, which means the logic. Yeah, if I uh, explain some more about it now, Abi, Abi, then Makari logic ke kag build out build up karne ka kama software ka kya nahi? Tabe ek ata anu hai tamai. Maya ara input data tika process karala. Abi ta on karna data ek abe ta on karna decision ne ka abe ta gina din. Hari. Ilang ata user interface. This is the most important part in IoT. IoT system, which is uh, we are collecting some data and then we are sending that to the cloud storage wherever what we are, wherever we uh, include the information, store the information, and then we process and give the uh, feedback to the user. Uh, so that uh, user may also be able to perform an action or an affect the system which means controlling temperature or whatever the decision that the user needs to take uh, by the way some actions may be performed automatically which means uh, user no need of user interaction you can use a media trend on him and a half a bit of a program color the end of the long men me me or get the accident on the hand of the head of snot the middle of the video not men may they can have a code more curry power like a वैदिकर आने पाव एक वैदिकल ला आउटपुट होंडा आउटपुट टेक आप देने ये वाके देवल कराने पुला हाँ रे देन वी आर कमिंग टू व्हाट कैन डू विथ आईओटी ही आई हैव गिवन सम आई विल बी एक्सप्लेन द स्मार्ट होम्स दैट कैन बी डन टू इन डे टू डे लाइफ सो स्मार्ट होम्स व्हेन वी कम्स टू द स्मार्ट होम्स वी कैन कं all the equipments within the home, which means the uh, refrigerator and uh, some temperature controlling systems, those things can be controlled with IoT using the using the mobile phone or a computer uh, via a mobile app. Uh, so then uh, about noise monitoring, then when it comes to a uh, countries like USA, they are using these things to monitor the sound producing by all the factories located uh, like that and for the supply chain control uh, these systems are in sri lanka also using them to uh, track the location of the packages that we order through the through some websites then we can track the location uh, whether they have dispatched the item or how long it will take to reach the item yeah, some of the example projects I have given as the smart home. Uh, so the session that we conducted uh, will be started with uh, some uh, embedded technologies and JavaScript, those kind of things. So uh, we can simply do some smart home control system with an Arduino. We can control a, a lighting system of a home and some temperature controls based on the environment condition uh, like that. So uh, that is what we are trying to give the, trying to start with the session. Uh, yeah, that's about the int basic introduction and thank you. Okay, uh, thank you uh, Sanjeeva uh, for that uh, introduction uh, for IoT. Uh, so the next uh, will be uh, uh, next section will be done by uh, Sandhu Niraj. Okay. Uh, so so today topic uh, is uh, mostly the less uh, starting with the uh, bootstrapping with the uh, Arduino and the uh, Tony Five. Tony Five means some kind of uh, 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 platform or the 
like some kind of like uh, technology that uh, uses uh, javascript to program the um, arduinos and the microsoft controllers mostly so uh, let's start with that uh, so first, okay uh, first uh, go for that uh, js uh, stuff so let's uh, know about the what is the arduino so uh, can you uh, guys people can uh, uh, raise your hands if you are working with the, any kind of Arduino or some kind of Ar Arduino technologies. If there is any one, I can see the participants list. Okay, I cannot see if anyone. So, uh, yeah, one there is, yeah, the two. And uh, yeah. So then uh, let's uh, start uh, from the beginning. Then uh, this will be uh, easy to you and me also. So Arduino is uh, basically uh, the technology used to program the microcontrollers. Uh, this is uh, make a scope bigger, define in you know, a beginner to industrial level because the, because the industrial level applications power uh, Arduino link control, Arduino microcontroller selling uh, uh, program. So it is also an open source technology. So anyone can access it, anyone can uh, download the codes uh, for the IDEs and the boards and the technologies. So it is, it is uh, uh, openly available in the uh, internet. So you all guys all, all also can uh, go to the internet and uh, find some resources on that. So, and uh, it is actually it is a easy to use for because uh, mostly uh, for for before the uh, Arduino we are mostly used uh, uh, programming and assembly and C plus uh, plus that C mostly C so the uh, Arduino programming uh, and it is very hard to understand uh, mostly sometimes we are need to deal with the machine code also. So after this Arduino uh, and the Arduino technologies and the uh, the that uh, methodology is introduced, the, uh, the this uh, programming for the microcontrollers even can be done by the uh, kids also. So today I I found I I, I met some students, uh, little kids, um, I think less than ten years old. Uh, they are doing microcontroller programming with the Arduino. So. That's that is the that is the uh, coolest thing coolest thing in the uh, Arduino. So you you can easily uh, learn that and use your projects on or use your uh, hobby projects that all of the inkang in the level of try karna deval lolta. Paayit asanang eva ki deval lolta karanna paayit karan pulva Arduino. So uh, then I'll explain about this Arduino IDE. Uh, Arduino ID uh, is uh, used to program, uh, write the code. So mostly uh, it is uh, uh, written by the uh, C++ based language called embedded C. So, uh, and it is, uh, it is also the open source and free to download. Uh, you can download from the, it from the, uh, this site, Arduino.cc. In this site, uh, you can download uh, it from the software tab. So also, lots of uh, resources are available in the site uh, because this, uh, this is the, the site. This uh, Arduino is a uh, that uh, it is a non-profit organization. So it is has uh, they are they are all, all they are their resources are already uh, free, and there is a huge uh, community to uh, work with uh, the Arduino. Over the one of the forums on other than Arduino world. Uh, mostly they are uh, working in uh, English, but internationally, but there is uh, some kind of uh, organization Arduino Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka also. You can join with them uh, to get uh, some knowledge about the Arduino if you are interested with, uh, with, the, with that. And uh, I'll show the uh, Arduino uh, uh, IDE in my computer. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is the Arduino ID. I think uh, you guys can see my uh, screen with the Arduino ID. Uh, 
Okay, I hope uh, yes. you guys can see. Yeah, yes. you can see that. Okay. Uh, so then uh, it is. Uh, it is. We need. We are uh, using this uh, space to co write our code, and uh, this button to upload our code to the uh, uh, programmer, and this to this button to the compile. So. I'll show how it is can be done with the uh, some hands-on session with the Arduino. So these are uh, before going with the going to the uh, our main main uh, uh, work. So then we have uh, talked about the Arduino so, uh, software. So what's about the hardware Arduino hardware? So there are lots of hardware uh, components for the Arduino. So there is a uh, lots of uh, boards to uh, work with the Arduino. So this this board is need uh, need to program the Arduino uh, that uh, microcontroller. So there you can see that uh, I have added most popular nine uh, boards. So Arduino Uno, Leonardo. Uh, micro nano uh, mini and the mega so these are these these boards are uh maybe board dalin tamai api atra microcontroller ka program karan api me me controllers me me api toni karana board ekak mekai kiyala thora ganna ekak ekak vidhi thiyana apita kene apita thora ganna puluwa so there is a, there is a lots of uh, methods to choose this choose among these uh, let's talk about them so you can see that the uh, these i i have uh, these boards i have mentioned in the previous slide has a different different uh, Uh, different different uh, features like uh, some have higher processor capacity some have higher memory capacity and some have some uh, features like digital io gpio analog pins so the uh, when we are uh, selecting our uh, a board for the our uh, project we need to consider about these so if you are if you have uh, if you are using some kind google mockery hadanna yanawa nan mockery variable ekak wage ekak ඔගොල්ලන්ට මේ ලොකු බෝඩ් දෙකක් වගේ පාවිච්චි කරලා තේරුමක් නැහැ. මොකද අතේ වන්දිනවා වගේ එකක් මොකක් හරි හිතනකෝ ලයික් ෆිට්බිට් ඔ සම්තිං ලයික් ද සම් කයින්ඩ් ඔෆ් දැට් කයින්ඩ් ඔෆ් ඉම්ප්ලිමන්ටේෂන් යු ආ ගෝයින් ටු ඉම්ප්ලිමන්ට්. යු කැනොට් වෙයා දැට් මච් දැට් බිග් දැට් මච් බිග් කම්පොනන්ට් ඉන් යුවර් හෑන්ඩ්. සෝ යු නීඩ් ටු ගෝ ෆෝර් අ ස්මෝලර් වර්ෂන් ඔෆ් දි ඔෆ් දිස් කම්පොනන්ට්ස්. සෝ දෙර ආ දෙර ආ බි දිස් these uh, boards have uh, different sizes also uh, size differences also because uh, mostly uh, this arduino mega is a very big uh, board so it is it has the uh, it and the duo and the mega has has a most uh, dig uh, deep digital and uh, analog pins and they have uh, they it is a very very big uh, big uh, uh, board so if you are going with the arduino nano or mini uh, like Uh, this one is nano and this is not mini i show my i have uh, nano and mini uh, uh, boards two boards so they are very small you can uh, you can compare your uh, implementation to small sizes so because of uh, th these are the changes we have done so it is this not uh, they we need to talk about this not them cu also this not them cu is a special kind of arduino board uh, it is uh, mostly used to Uh, work with the iot devices because it has a uh, uh, wi-fi module inbuilt i'll show one uh, for you guys uh, let me show okay i think you guys okay, i'll uh, remove this uh, background So you guys can see that uh, this board. This one is the not them see you. You guys can see uh, there is uh, some kind of uh, module in here. So okay, can I make this? Uh, you guys, can you see my uh, camera? camera screen yeah yeah so yeah yeah okay uh, so, so this is the um, um not mcu make a wala pena uda me me tiyana kaalla tama 
වයිෆයි මොඩියුල් එක මේ ඇන්ටනාවක් මෙතන තියෙන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ට පුළුවන් මේ මේක ඩයරෙක්ට්ලි අපිට වෙනම මේ වයිෆයි මොඩියුල් එකක් කනෙක්ට් නොකර මේකෙන් හරහම ඔයගොල්ලන්ට කෝඩ් එක ලියලා මේක ගොඩක් කම්පැක්ට් ඔයගොල්ලෝ මගේ ඔයගේ අති සයිස් එකත් ඔයගොල්ලෝ තේරෙනවා ඇති මේ පොඩ්ඩක් අපි නෝමල් පාවිච්චි කරන Arduino board එකට ඇති පොඩි so you guys you guys can use this as some kind of implementations this is we need to we need to write code for that and use any any things so there is in the if you see that screen share Okay, uh, you can see that see the screen share. It is has uh, also the 16 digital pins and one uh, 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 analog pin. So you guys can see that also there are lots of uh, SRAM and the flash for this. So you guys can use that, use them. So that is the uh, okay. I'll show uh, this. Uh, this is this this board is the uh, Arduino Nano uh, Nano board, and uh, this one is. Uh, Arduino uh, Mini. So you guys can see my in, uh, in compared to my uh, hands uh, size. So it is very tiny and uh, very compact. Uh, so that's the uh, boards. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, do some hands-on session uh, on with the Arduino before going to the J, J stuff. So I'll I have some kind of. Uh, uh, small uh, diagram uh, to start with uh, this is the basic uh, di- basic uh, like it is like uh, hello world in the arduino so it is called blink so we are i am going to uh, run this uh, led bulb uh, with the with the blink uh, like nimena uh, patthu wenawa like uh, so let's start with that you guys uh, will be available these uh, uh, this board module also so i am uh, not going to use the sn kind of uh, arduino mega or uno board i am using uh, arduino nano board so okay let's start yeah my camera okay okay uh, you guys can see uh, the board uh, i think yes so i cannot see by Okay. Is it uh, clear? Is it clear to you? Yes. Okay. So, so uh, I'll uh, show the pin diagram as the uh, I have uh, implemented here. So, okay. like this, I have connected. Uh, give me a second. I'll I have used uh, 11 pin in 11 as the uh, so pin 11 for the uh, input I can if you see that here pin 11 and uh, I have uh, corrected the LED for here and uh, because this uh, module is outputting uh, Five volts. Because of that, our uh, LED can be burned. The LED ka picture ne pulo ang inda. Mama dala tira wa ohms tunsiya tiha ka resistor ne kaak meten ta. Eka haraha tamai LED ka connect kala tira mama. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, try to uh, write the code for this uh, this one. So. You guys, uh, I'll more explaining. So, uh, I have connected this uh, resistor to the ground, like here, and uh, this 11 pin of this uh, Arduino to the uh, anode for that uh, LED. So, let's try to run this. I'll keep it here like this. Okay. So. Connect by Arduino. So, guys, you can see that uh, red light is blinking in here uh, in my uh, uh, 
Arduino board. So it is mean that it is connected now. This cable is very long. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Uh, first, I'll uh, open the Arduino ID like this. So we are going to write uh, this, the uh, hello world in the Arduino. It is a Blink code. So you guys can uh, easily get it from this file and examples and the basics. And there it is, the Blink. So I'll op I have op I've opened that like this. And uh, you guys can see some kind of uh, commented uh, code here. I'll remove it, that. And yeah. Okay, uh, so this code is uh, originally written to uh, blink the uh, LED bulb inbuilt in the uh, device. It is, I think, uh, 13 pin, okay, uh, or something. Yeah, the LED, uh, that uh, in, inbuilt button, but built in uh, LED pin. So I'll, uh, I have uh, need, I go, I'm going to uh, change that uh, pin to uh, our, we have this pin 11. So uh, if you are guys wondering how I uh, got that uh, uh, 11 pin, uh, I'll uh, show how I got that 11 pin. So let's, there we can uh, get uh, this one like this Arduino nano uh, pin out like this. Then go to the images. Also, you can uh, you guys can read the Arduino Nano data sheet also. I'm go not going to that much of uh, depth. So like here, you guys can see the uh, pin diagram in my screen share, I think. Sorry. In here, uh, we are going to uh, correct this uh, D11 pin. You guys can see there in here. It is the sorry. Let's open here again. I'll open this in uh, image new tab like this, and uh, you guys can see that it is the D11 we are we have already uh, connected. If you can see my camera video feed, so D11. So the D11 is uh, mentioning in the Arduino using the 11. It is the 11 pin. So I'll uh, define a, way, uh, a constant with like this uh, hash define. I'll give a name for that uh, constant LED pin. And uh, the pin is 11. So let's uh, add this to the here. This is the pin mode. Uh, we are uh, setting this uh, 11 pin as a output. Then uh, I'll write this as a LED pin and LED pin. First, it is the uh, outputting high for that LED pin. After one, uh, this thousand means thousand milliseconds. After a thousand milliseconds mean one uh, second. So. After one second, it is uh, need to uh, going off. Uh, the output uh, make the low. So let's uh, first uh, after that uh, changes, we need to select our board in here. Okay, uh, there is a message in chat. Ah, okay. So okay, so I'll. Uh. How it is can be zoomed. Control plus. I hope uh, you guys can see now. Okay, so I'll explain uh, uh, from the beginning. Okay, so first we have defined uh, uh, constant with the 
a value of 11 because uh, we are using the 11 pin uh, for that uh, code uh, the as the led pin then i have uh, mentioned this led uh, pin as output because it is giving some kind of output uh, to the led led then uh, first i have uh, made the led pin high because uh, i need to turn on the led then i wait uh, for the 1000 milliseconds milliseconds dahak kiyanne tappareya it's a one second then uh, after one second i have wrote uh, written uh, uh, another code line to digital write to write uh, uh, to turn off the uh, uh, that uh, led bulb so let's uh, before the run that uh, i'll uh, need to select my board so i am using arduino board uh, arduino nano you can uh, select uh, any other board it, the, from this uh, list i have using the arduino nano so because of that i have chosen the uh, arduino nano then uh, you need to find out your com port that uh, arduino uh, which port your computer connected to the arduino board so it is easily uh, can be done uh, easily you need to uh, go uh, type in here uh, called uh, manager you guys can see that device manager it will be opened yeah, it is open the other monitor okay. like this then uh, you can see that uh, i don't know it is also visible i hope it is visible so there is a uh, command uh, the selectable so for uh, the ports i have create i'll create expand that so also you guys can see that ch340 uh, usb serial it is the com port 10 so this is this port uh, is the uh, our arduino board is correct connected right now so uh, remember this com port 10 and uh, you guys can select it here from this port uh, tools port and the com port 10 i am already i also i am already selected the com port 10 so then uh, let's uh, run this uh, upload this uh, code to our uh, arduino board Uh, now you guys can see uh, in my camera feed uh, that's that uh, LED uh, gives big blink blinking it is on and off you can see it yeah okay so let's uh, do small change i'll uh, reduce this uh, delay to half of a second like this 500 it is uh, 500 means 0.5 second so let's uh, okay, so, uh, let's uh, upload it again uh, I think you guys can see that uh, change on the uh, the blinking time. So that is the uh, small dis description about the Arduino and how it can be worked. So let's move to the uh, our next part of this uh, session series. Okay. Uh, okay. This, this. Can everyone uh, mute their microphones uh, other than uh, the presenter? It will uh, reduce the disturbances. Yeah, we need 
Sadika, are you able to meet the microphone yeah, um, of the participants? Now it is okay, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Uh, I only request you, everyone to mute your mic, sir. It's really disturbing. Okay. So, okay. Uh, then uh, we let let's start about the our main uh, topic. So, uh, we are going to talk about the Johnny Five uh, with uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, JavaScript framework to write the uh, codes on uh, Arduino, Arduino and the microcontrollers. It is not uh, not uh, uh, limited to the Arduino. It is need, it is can be uh, write, written to the uh, Raspberry Pis also. There are there are a couple of uh, other uh, the, uh, platforms also. So let's start with that. So first, uh, I'll okay. I'll explain uh, explain why JavaScript is uh, used to uh, for that uh, writing codes for the uh, uh, codes for the uh, microcontrollers. So first thing why not we can use that because uh, if uh, because api uh, then uh, javascript use karna for we are using uh, javascript for the web development mostly the javascript is came for uh, front end development and then it is moved to the back end development we have these nodejs and the that uh, things to uh, back end development in the uh, with the JavaScript, then it is uh, come came to the mobile application development. Now we are doing mobile application development is uh, with uh, React Native. It is using and also Ionic. The, it is using uh, both JavaScript and the that sub that uh, sub uh, thing uh, sub sub uh, uh, language you uh, implemented with the JavaScript called TypeScript. So also from the we uh, it is. It is mostly dominated by every uh, industry. Called also, we are use, we are creating desktop application with the electron and some other things. New JS also. So uh, because it is the JavaScript and the TypeScript, uh, it, it is uh, dominating the every every uh, industry in the IT uh, industry every uh, part in the IT industry. So why we were not using this uh, JavaScript for the embedded programming also. So, and also uh, according to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2020, it is showing that uh, JavaScript and the TypeScript is the most, one of the most popular, popular languages. You guys can see that graph. I, uh, I bought this uh, graph from the uh, Stack Overflow uh, Developer Survey 2020. I hope you guys know what is the uh, Stack Overflow means. So it is showing that uh, TypeScript is, has the uh, second most uh, um, fair votes and also uh, uh, JavaScript has also 58.3 and uh, TypeScript has, uh, has 67.1 uh, in, the, in the percentage from their votes. And uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, so also, uh, JavaScript has a huge community uh, around the world. So JavaScript told that in local community open source. That JavaScript get open source technology. Ka. E hindama, uh, open source community ka kinna ogolante uh, mokakari pasde akya hua hama JavaScript ta ge heking uh, Stack Overflow hari mokakari forum mega pasde akya hua mani varang uttre adhe na ke ne kinna. In the uh, JavaScript Kiane local community, uh, also uh, JavaScript is uh, evolving uh, year by year. So, we have, uh, before that, before that, we have uh, used uh, ES3 and ES4, uh, ES5. Then now we have using ES6 and ES7, well, working for the ES7 also. So, because of that, uh, this JavaScript is evolving and, uh, and new. Uh, uh, features are coming uh, for the JavaScript, and some features are uh, evolving more mostly. So, because of that, uh, because of the uh, changes, because of that uh, huge uh, community, and also we have lots of libraries to use with the uh, uh, JavaScript. For now, now we can use uh, these NPM and YARN 
uh, package managers to get the JavaScript, uh, JavaScript libraries. And also uh, we can uh, browse to the uh, GitHub uh, for the uh, new uh, libraries and the implementation for the JavaScript. So why not we are not using the JavaScript for the uh, 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 that uh, microcontroller programming also. So that's the uh, that's the uh, reason uh, used to the JavaScript. Also, there also uh, mostly uh, JavaScript is the one of uh, a language uh, that every programmer uh, and it in his uh, entire life used in one uh, occasion. So like Ogolay Ogolangi Jivite programmer ke nek thamangi Jivite ekka parakar JavaScript use kala deera. Kiela mama hidra. Oga the a taramata me JavaScript ke nek ape developer career solta badhe la tira language dega. Ehinda me the C plus plus wagi ekka ikeda keda programming liye na wata vadiya. Ehma ehma JavaScript ke na idea ekka ke ke na danna ke nek ta make a use karala aluting ya ge asa ya asa na mokari project ya karana embedded programming soli. Yada lacing Karaganda Pulwang may JavaScript a Dana or the Rata Yada Mulina C plus plus again and don't neither. So they add the JavaScript by Tigal, I could tell Yaganda. What is small setup pack of Tira C plus plus only? You want to echo at a booth, code current than Nathan, I don't know, I can get a right current literate in a firm bag. It was the other JavaScript tooling I code the Gilead Pulwang. Okay, uh, that is the why JavaScript is used to uh, embedded programming and the Johnny Five. Why this uh, Johnny Five is uh, very uh, useful okay uh, so then let's move to the next slide so uh, i have uh, mentioned that so why johnny 5 is uh, uh, used uh, for the plumber why you why we you need to use johnny 5 is first we is the familiar language for the most of the developers and uh, it can be easily set up so you not don't need to uh, uh, knowledge, have knowledge for the c plus plus uh, you only need uh, some kind of a couple of um, uh, uh, IDs and the knowledge, basic knowledge about the JavaScript. So, because it is also not don't need the huge knowledge of the JavaScript. You need to know about how to run uh, uh, not this. Uh, not this not uh, necessary uh, not this uh, that app uh, in the not with the not it is the only thing you need to know no? also uh, npm install uh, uh, johnny5 it is the another thing need to know so also johnny5 is very useful for the rapid prot prototyping because uh, it is uh, that coding is very small, uh, easy i'll show the uh, the long the, that uh, some uh, one of some com complex program and how much uh, lines need to how much uh, need to they the things need to consider when we are uh, doing the programming when i do the uh, uh, some our demonstration and the johnny5 has lots of inbuilt functions to do uh, several things uh, the, that is the which uh, the uh, arduino uh, don't have Okay, I'll uh, mention what is Johnny 5. So Johnny 5. Okay, Johnny 5 is uh, some kind of... Uh, oh, sorry. Give me a second. <coughs> Uh, Johnny 5 is a uh, uh, programming library, uh, JavaScript library, JavaScript uh, framework uh, we can use for the uh, coding with the JavaScript uh, for the robotics and IoT platforms. Uh, you guys can see they, are, uh, they have uh, lots of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, lots of uh, examples and the, uh, they are very good uh, documentation for that. Uh, so this uh, Johnny5, uh, you guys can go to this johnny5.io website and uh, see their website and the, their examples in here. And uh, so I'll uh, explain these uh, when when I'm doing the uh, uh, setup and the uh, hands-on session. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so 
uh, when we are going with the any te technology, we have uh, few, few several uh, downsides. So Johnny Five is uh, still not ready for the production level implementations because uh, it is uh, still in development because they are uh, adding uh, more and more uh, uh, features every day. So also uh, currently uh, these uh, uh, Johnny Five applications are not as a standalone it is need to uh, server to run uh, the code so uh, in the uh, when you are going with their uh, issues uh, we they are mentioning they are working on uh, developing these two standalone but you guys can uh, easily use this uh, johnnyify for that uh, 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 you are pro rapid prototyping and uh, okay I'll so also uh, also this uh, this is, I have mentioned that uh, the Johnny 5 is uh, rely on the uh, remote server. So because of that, uh, this this one, because of that uh, running pro program can be changed anytime without the amount in the hardware. So it, I'll show how it is can be done when we, when, when we are going with the implementation. So um, it can mean that uh, you need, again, I mean, then he go, Golo Arduino in code color, the Yama, Kiela Mokari, Mokari, my controller, Ogolante, my controller, Apo, Mokari, Ogolange system, make a update, Takari Mokari, Karanonina, Ogolante, Arduino board, the Gari, Arduino, IC, Gari, Galola, Apo program, Karanon. Even not a me, Johnny Five, Egolo Pythical, the architect, Chegano, a pay application, a run any Yam Kip firm by Akidir. It got Ogoland Pulwan, Ogolang network connection Nekara, a Tiana a program make update Kara. A pay ham both up a pay apply a pay server get a correct lati and doni, a connect latin server a cara, a pit pulwang, a pay application make up to only lava, change karan. Egolo uh a ka implement colour, egolo standalone at a karana pulla dirat, ego develop karna kill egolang uh documentation or legal killer. Me oh my uh summoning make it in a Podi uh, downside there. Then you want to make a Janata, a Golangi rapid prototyping or a hobby works on the Pai and Pulan Janata. So let's talk about what we need uh, before starting with the Johnny Five. So you uh, first need you need the uh, Node.js to download. So you guys can uh, easily go to the Node.js.org and download this Node.js package and uh, it is need to be installed. It can be done uh, easily. And uh, you will need uh, uh, code uh, Arduino ID. Uh, it is only uh, needs once. You, it is only need to write the uh, this bootloader the for, called Fermata. And after that, after the uh, writing that Fermata, you you can uh, uh, close the Arduino ID. And also, uh, you guys need the code editor. I am uh, you guys. I am prefer for the VS Code uh, because it is uh, more, so much familiar for me. So you guys also can download the uh, that uh, from this uh, um, URL, uh, Visual Code uh, code.visualcodestudio.com. Uh, it is also free, uh, and also you guys need some kind of Arduino board. Uh, this board near uh, some boards are still not compatible with John Uni Five. I think uh, most of the uh, general uh, use purpose using general purpose boards like uh, Arduino Uno, Gen, uh, Gen Uno, uh, Nano, uh, Micro. They they have uh, Nano, Micro, and uh, they are already uh, work with them. And also the Node MCU uh, can be work with them. And some components to test uh, like LED bulbs uh, and uh, resistors uh, or some kind of servo motor or some kind of thing you guys need. So this is the uh, this is the uh, minimum requirement to run the uh, Johnny file. So Okay, uh, let's start uh, with the some kind of implementation. First, I'll uh, implement this uh, this diagram with the Johnny file. Uh, let's work on them. So, first, I'll create a project uh, in here. Okay, I have an empty uh, uh, folder. So, first, I uh, I'm running uh, my uh, command prompt in here like this i am all i have already installed the node.js you guys can take keep it this node minus view i have already installed the uh, node.js 
Okay, uh, then uh, we need to create a, a package, uh, some kind of uh, NPM uh, uh, project. So for that, we need to run NPM init. So it is asking uh, some kind of name for us. Uh, I'll do this uh, test Johnny five like this. Okay, sorry. Ah uh, yes, uh, the someone asking about uh, can use the other card. Yeah, you guys can uh, write even on the notepad also, but uh, I'm mostly familiar with the uh, uh, that uh, VS Code because of that I'll using that. So you yeah, you guys can write uh, on the uh, notepad or notepad plus plus sublime text or any uh, text editor for that. Yeah, uh, you. Uh, if you guys have any uh, uh, problem, yeah, you guys can put it to here. This chat, I'll uh, see. I'll uh, open. The, I'll work with the open that. So okay, uh, let's start our project. This, I'll give this all all for the enter. Okay, so you guys can see that we have created the package JSON. Uh, call, file called package JSON. So let's go. Okay, I'll uh, I have I'm opening this folder uh, with the uh, VS Code. It is easily can be done by code and dot. It is opening my uh, VS Code here. Okay. Uh, so first, I need to create a JavaScript file like here i'm uh, giving name for that led.js like this then uh, let's go to the johnny5 documentation uh, so first we need to install uh, the this johnny5 uh, uh, package so i'll download this like like this npm install johnny5 this and uh, i'm running it on my uh, com command prompt like this it is installing our necessary uh, uh, component for our uh, project it is taking a little bit of time so i have already uh, i have a project already created so i'll uh, work okay ah, it is okay i'll have some issue with the so okay i have uh, uh, i have a project i have already uh, created so like that you guys can uh, work with that so this is the code i have get from this uh, this here this is the uh, some kind of hello world type of thing for the uh, johnny5 so you guys can easily copy this and add it to the code you uh, like this currently uh, i have mentioned this uh, um, johnny5 uh, imported this johnny5 here and i have created the variable for with the johnny5 and added the uh, inbuilt uh, function to the boards on ready so uh, you guys can see uh, so i'll first i try uh, run this so in here i need to add my port uh, i have connected another uh, and have you seen the com port chain and uh, i have mentioning this is, we have using this uh, 11 pin i i guess yes in here so i'll uh, 
change this to 11 and uh, this uh, in here you need to add the what uh, what what uh, pin you are need to use this here so i'll save this and then we need to run this project so for that i'll run this like this we need to type node then the file name led.js can we mute the microphones of those who are not present? Sadika, can you mute all the other microphones, please? So, I uh, muted all. If the resource okay. person can unmute, yes. Yeah, I'll, I have uh, muted. Okay, so this is the code. So I'll run this with the, my, this one. Okay. Node led.js. Content. Okay, sorry, I have a disconnected my Arduino board. Okay, first, uh, we need to uh, write our uh, firmware to the uh, board. For, so you guys need uh, this uh, firm, uh, this Arduino ID once for writing the uh, firmata. So it is easily that can be done uh, with the file and the examples. You can find this firmata and uh, you need to choose uh, firmata, standard firmata, this one. And uh, don't uh, uh, consider this, uh, this program because uh, it is how the program we have uh, entered before. So then I need to write this to our uh, Arduino board. You need, you not don't need to edit anything in here. It is only uh, writing here. I'm writing. Compiling our sketch. Okay, so our program is currently successfully added to the um, firm and uh, our board. So now you guys can see that uh, the blinking is stopped because we, we have removed the old program and added this uh, bootloader to that uh, program. So now we can write our uh, uh, 25 code to the uh, board using this uh, com, uh, uh, command uh, node uh, and the file name like this you guys can see uh, i'll add this blink as blink. And I need to refresh my server. Just like this. Then I'll run this again. You guys can see that uh, our blinking app uh, one is uh, running. So we can use uh, Nodmon. Uh, Nodmon. Uh, Nodmon is a separate. Uh, 
um, Node.js package. You guys can install it using in NetBM install node.mun.d this uh, command. So I have already installed it. So because of that, uh, nodemon uh, led.js like this. So it is listening to our changes in our code and uh, propagate it to our board. So let's add some inbuilt function called uh, um, pulse like this. You guys see that uh, the effect is changed like this. I think you guys can see the uh, my camera feed, no? Yes, yes, I can see. So that's the uh, basic thing we have done. So I'll show uh, the size comparison of the code with the uh, and the uh, the ease of the logic. This is our blink code. And this is our um, JavaScript code. So you guys can see that uh, there is no much of a difference because this is a small and uh, very, um, I'll, very uh, simple program. If you are going with the huge and uh, complex programs, you can you guys can exactly see that. So I'll show some uh, other things in the next session also. So uh, yeah, uh, that's the. Uh, uh, thing uh, about the uh, Tony file and the JavaScript. Yeah, thank you.